I'm really happy to talk to Mary Komick today. Mary, tell us a little more about yourself and what you do. Hi, absolutely. Yes, I'm Mary Komick. I'm the founder of Mary Komick Style and a personal stylist for female entrepreneurs and professionals. Mary, so tell us a little bit more about your journey, because you have created various different themes within that. Uh, as I understand, you're a fashion psychologist. Tell us more about your journey. Yeah, so I'm not a registered fashion psychologist, though I did study the field. So I'm a fashion stylist. I've been in this business. I've been in the fashion industry for over a decade, and I've been styling for five years. I love what I do. I studied fashion psychology to kind of integrate it into my styling process when I'm working with clients one-on-one. -on -one. So whether that's in closet edits, helping them release what doesn't serve them, or shopping to really revamp their shopping habits and then creating outfits, making sure that they have the proper mindset to create looks that help them look and feel their best every day. Mary, and you're based in Los Angeles, but do you do one-on-one -on -one all over the world? How does it work? Yes. So I am based in Los Angeles, but honestly, majority of my clientele is virtual. So I do work all over the world, which is a lovely thing to do. But you, if you are in the Los Angeles or Orange, Orange County area, you can work with me here. But otherwise, I do all of the same styling services that are super fabulous over Zoom too. Marion, do you have sort of a signature thing? So how 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 do you work? Yes. So my signature service is the work to weekend wardrobe. This is truly a styling experience where clients get to work with me very personally for 90 days and they get a closet edit, personal shopping, outfit lookbooks, color analysis, body type analysis, personal wardrobe color palette, all of the things to learn the foundation of styling, how to get dressed, how to create outfits on your own and how to shop strategically in a way where your work wardrobe and your weekend wardrobe is covered. Uh, I created that system so that people can really learn how to maximize their closets and always feel like they have something to wear every day. Amazing. Mary, what would you say is your main motivator? Ooh, I love that question. My main motivator is really to help women feel empowered in being the most authentic versions of themselves through the power of style. So personal styling is my purpose. I will do this until the day I die. Don't imagine I would ever retire. So my main purpose and goal and drive with working with women is to make sure that they feel that they know how to use their clothes as a tool and as a resource to boost their mood, boost their productivity, boost their confidence in all avenues of their lives. Amazing. I love that. Mary, what would you say is your top quality? My top quality? Ooh, fun. Where do I choose? I would probably say I'm very empathetic, which plays into a lot of what I do. I'm a fantastic listener. So Clothes tell a story. Every item that you have in your closet probably has a story to it. I want to know what my client's style story is, which is the really great part of doing what I get to do for a living. And that level of being able to listen and truly understand where my clients are now and where their style struggles are can help me bridge the gap to take them to where they want to be. Super cool. Mary, um, what top tips would you have for our listeners, you know, how maybe three styling tips that are sort of universal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, first styling tip, I mean, we're recording this in the morning. I don't know when, what time of day people will be watching this, but whether it's morning or night, plan your outfit ahead of time most often the night before, so that you can cut down, number one, the stress and the panic of getting dressed, but also cutting down on freaking out about what to wear. 
you can just have your outfit ready to go, whether that's hanging or near you. So it's the one less thing you have to worry about and you can get a little bit of time back in your day. My second styling tip when it comes to shopping is to make a list of what you need ahead of time. This does not take the creativity and the spontaneity out of finding something that catches your eye, but it does save you time shopping and it will, it will save you money on clothes that you don't want to return in the long run. And my third tip would be don't be afraid of color. It's a very large fashion trend right now. And both of us are wearing lovely pink shades. Um, it's a very big fashion trend right now to be incredibly minimal and only neutrals. But not all neutrals are created equal and not all neutrals and and tones of that of that nature are universally flattering. So it's very important to find the colors that complement you and then realize how to integrate that into your wardrobe because everyone deserves to wear a little color. I totally agree with you. Mary, what Thank are you. your plans, dreams, or um, goals for your future? What, what things are in store for you uh, coming up in the next years? In the next years, I'm a Capricorn, so I've got an annual, a five-year, and a 10-year plan. <laughs> uh, really working on scaling out the work to weekend wardrobe experience. That is my signature experience and working with more women. I, I started working internationally this year and I want to continue to do so because it's just so fun to be able as a stylist, like the world is my oyster. I can shop anywhere in the world and to be able to help women all over the world. I want to continue doing that through the work to weekend wardrobe and continuing one-on-one. -on -one. I do imagine in a few years from now, that even could scale into a group coaching program if I want to go that route. But continuing to share fashion psychology techniques integrated into my styling processes and seeing where that can go. There will be many fashion events, live events, store events as well in my future. Amazing. Mary, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you so much for having me. This is lovely.